everyone. The Swamp Rabbits are hosting a big game and you can attend and give back to the community as well at the well tonight. 7 News' Christine Scarpelli is live with the players, uh, teachers in Harvest Hoop Food Bank at the Bon Secours Wellness Arena in Greenville. Yeah, guys, good morning. We're still here at the well. Big game coming up. Swamp Rabbits tonight coming off a big win on winning Wednesday. And we have the coach, Coach Kevin here of the Swamp Rabbits. Got Luke as well on defense. So we're glad to have them because they can tell you just a little bit about how the team's doing and how excited they get when you come. So some incentives this evening as we're here at the well now. You can be here in just a few hours. Bring five uh, canned good items or as many as you can. As many really because you get $5 off your ticket. That's a big amount out when the tickets are so affordable for many families and teacher appreciation night. So bring your student your ID. I should say your teacher ID, not your student ID. Your student You'll get five dollars off that as well. Coach, how does it feel being able to kind of support the community in that way and then hopefully getting them here tonight? Well, I think it's very important. You know, we, we take a lot of pride in supporting our community. Uh, our players are out in the community a lot, a lot of different community events and you know, we feel that it's, uh, even as a player when I play it, it's always important to make sure we give back to our community because hopefully, ultimately, they're going to give back and show up to our game and support us and support our team and our players. So you're saying that when our viewers or even listeners, because we were live with Earth FM this morning, show up, that actually kind of motivates you? Is that an accurate statement? Yeah, definitely. Like you said, it's always a big uh, important thing to be part of the community, and then the more people come, the louder it is, uh, the more fun it is for us. So you're saying it's encouraged to be loud and Absolutely. scream and cheer you on. Yeah, come be crazy. It's uh, more fun for us and more fun for the fans, too, I think. Very good. How about the um, opponent tonight? Anything to look forward to? I know it's a very good team. Well, Florida's a really good team. Uh, you know, we've uh, kind of split the season series with them. Um, you know, last year uh, they took it to us a lot. This year, I think uh, this year our team's... Uh, a little bit more structured, I think, great. a little bit better with the way, uh, you know, with our affiliated players and a lot of our returning players, like Luke's a returning player. So, um, you know, it should be a good game. And, you know, we lost a couple guys to call-ups over the last couple of days, but uh, hopefully we have enough guys to, to backfill those guys and, and uh, have a great game tonight. I mean, they're a big team, they're a good team, and uh, but uh, this is a huge weekend for us. We all, I think the guys know it, it's three big games for us this weekend, and you know, where we sit in the standings and how we want to continue to climb to get in the playoffs. If the playoffs started today, we'd be in third place, we'd be in the playoffs, nice. So, but we still got a long way to go. All right, look, you got your secret weapon behind us this morning. I mean, at very, at very least, you still have Stomper. I mean, he's turning four, right? The MVP, guys. Much more to come. Come see him and Luke and the coach, of course, tonight at Swamp Reps right here at the well. We'll see you soon. Love Stomper. Love him. All right, coming up ahead on Carolina Morning, Duncan is getting ready for Valentine's Day with a new drink and some old favorites. And it's National Hot Chocolate Day. A little history on this sweet treat and how it's actually good for you when we come back.